G'day everyone, welcome back to a very different looking Delsbury Hill. Yep, I've gone with the, uh, the old name just because I liked it <laughs> and uh, thought I'd just use it again. So. But this is very different to the last time that you saw it. I've um, just uh, scooted along with the work um, on this one. Uh, just every time I've had a day or a couple of hours or something like that, I've come out to the layout and uh, added a few things to it. Work's been very, very hectic. We're very grateful to um, have still uh, been working. Uh, and in actual fact, it's been busier than it's ever been before, which is which is great, but uh, it, it's meant that I have needed some uh, time away from work and some uh, time to get back into the hobby just to clear my mind every now and then. So I've, I've managed to get a bit more done than I, I would have otherwise on previous layouts. I do have a short on this track here, which is why this fowler has stopped here. So I'll sort that out uh, in a moment, get that one going again. Uh, what I've done is uh, worked on the village scene. As you can see here, I've got uh, lots of fencing and uh, little cameos in place. A little ice cream man, a uh, little uh, gate coming into the area here. Um, people sitting down on benches, just enjoying the view, enjoying the scenery. Uh, I haven't done much here with the, um, the the bridge area here. I am going to um, put some uh, some of this polyfiber and foliage around and, and paint it, uh, you know, watercolor and things like that. So I've just put some of the um, some of the sitting areas outside the pub there. As you can see, I've had the, the village so that it goes off into a point as a, as a perspective, horse perspective sort of a scenario. And, uh, and then I've got some lights in there as well. So I'll just get this fowler going. So as you can see, I've got uh, various uh, walls and um, you saw in the last video the, the plaster um, retaining walls there that I've now painted up. Um, I've sort of blended in the foam wall down here, uh, blended in the plaster wall up the back there. Still a lot of detail to go. This is just the, really the base coat of detail, particularly down here. Still have a lot of bushes and trees and things like that, but um, it's just gotten to the point now where you can sort of get the idea of of what I'm trying to achieve. Um, it's also quite nice when we bob down, we can get some real nice height perspective, as if we were a person sort of standing down here and looking up. Uh, we can get some really nice height perspective. See the church, and uh, up here um, is the farm property with the hedging going all around, which, which looks nice. Um, so with the uh, farm property, I haven't really done much at all. Um, well, I've done little bits and pieces. I'm putting some fencing in place and just figuring out where the driveway uh, and the uh, any sort of gravel area, hard standing area is going to, to go. Uh, the rough sort of um, placement of the buildings. Um, I've got a, that nice um, weeping willow here next to what will be uh, water and uh, obviously going out the back of the mill there. And this is a separate property here to this property here. So, uh, so the other scene which I have been working on quite a bit is the church scene. Now, originally I was gonna have a pub in here. I decided to put the church in here because I really wanted it to be a um, feature of a, 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 in, its, in its own right. Um, I just like a really good church scene on a layout, basically. What I've done is I've um, got a couple of bridges there. I've got one there. And I've got one over the back there. Um, figurines are, I guess, a mixture of HO and double O as well. But I've got the horse and carriage there with the driver waiting for the uh, the happy couple to come out. Uh, over here, unfortunately, we've got the other side of the coin. A few mourners around the grave there. Uh, and I've also got a couple of little animations which I'd like to show you. So I've got the um, photographers 
going nuts there, taking uh, pictures of the uh, happy couple. And I've also got this little fella scooting around the layout at what could only be described as an alarming pace, quite obviously trying to get away from someone. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any way to regulate the speed at the moment, so um, I'm gonna get another controller which will actually help with that. But uh, for the moment, uh, proof of concept, and he is working and cycling his way under the bridge, up the back, and back down again. So I wanted to have the Magna Rail so that it was uh, going up and down a hill. I didn't just want it flat, I just wanted something a little bit more dynamic. So I've got him uh, sort of, uh, well, working beautifully there, just going a, a tad too fast. But um, other than that, he is certainly doing his job. It's just such a great effect. And this Magna Rail system, of course, was from Clyde at uh, Magna Rail Oz. Uh, so anybody in Australia, and I believe internationally as well, perhaps, sorry Clyde if I've got that wrong, but to anybody who wants any Magna Rail items, um, look up Magna Rail Oz, and uh, Clyde will help you out there. It's just such a great little system, it's just, it's just so much fun. It's just a, uh, everybody that I've shown this to, their eyes have just popped out of their head and they're like, what is going on? Some sort of magic. And it really is some sort of magic, isn't it? And it's, uh, it's just great. Just from all different angles too, it's just <laughs> really cool. There he goes. I actually want to have my um, welding man down here and a few uh, discarded bits of um, metal and scrap metal and a few train uh, track uh, workers as well. Um, you see a few different coloured flowers and foliage I've put around in different places. A little cameo scene here as well, just with the uh, campers getting away. I want to have a little um, little wood fire in there as well. Make it look a little bit cosy. But, uh, all in all, I'm, I'm sort of I'm quite happy with, um, with how far I've come with it, actually. Uh, it's um, it's achieved the look that I wanted to achieve. Um, it was never a, a complicated layout as far as the track is concerned. For those who, of you who didn't see the last video, this is sort of what happens at the back. Um, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all accessible uh, along basically everywhere you see this white polystyrene there, across there, and then angled across there. That's back scene. So all this will be staging area along here. I'll just take those uh, church bells out because they can get a tad annoying. Um, so this is all staging area back here. And I'll have the back scene, uh, back scene on. So, uh, along the side here I've put the first of the um, fascias, the Dalesbury Hill there, and the second of the fascias along here. Yet to be blended in, and of course, you can see gaps and things, but they'll obviously be blended with bushes and things like that. And then uh, the other one to go on here as well. On here, I do want to have a couple of push buttons for the bike, the church, this and that. Um, not so much because this, this layout is going to be displayed um, publicly, it's probably not, but I, just so that I don't have to have things like the church bells plugged in all the time, and if, you know, family and friends come over and little kiddies come over and they want to have a, a play with the buttons they can and it, you know we're not going to all sort of go crazy with the, the sound of all these church bells and bikes running and all this sort of thing so yeah so I'll do that as well and as I say plenty to go but uh, I'm really quite happy with how it's, it's all coming up and the trains are running really nicely I mean apart from this sort of top track here which I've now temporarily fixed here I will give that a proper fix later on but as I say I just like the height uh, that it achieves just with the three tracks and this top one with the old Triang Gerda bridge I, I really wanted to reclaim or sort of reuse after so many decades the old Triang Gerda bridge uh, which is just a just a great little model and uh, oh there we go you know where the next one was coming from class 25 of course back in class 25 this loco here, actually, I just I just got uh, a few weeks back. Runs beautifully. That's um, 
really wanted one in that livery and uh, and I also have the Duchess class as well which is in the maroon livery and uh, which which is tucked away in a cupboard at the moment but with the three tracks I have you know obviously you know changed the locos over as I uh, as I like from the back of the layout so I can keep them all stored there at the back of the layout and just change them and just have them coming around to the front to whoever might be there to see them so that is the idea well guys I hope you like what you see um, there's a lot that I haven't discussed as to how I've done things obviously you know you can see I've used static grass plaster rocks a mixture of different foliages and things like that and I would have really have liked to have done sort of how-to videos or at least shown me sort of doing these things but sometimes I was just in that mode where I just thought you know what I just I just want to just smash it out and just get it done and um, and didn't get a chance to sort of uh, film a lot of it but I have blended in these these walls here uh, which look really really good blended in um, and I just used a whole heap of different foliage along the way it's all stuff that I had actually the only stuff I had to buy was the ballast which I didn't already have but everything else I had tucked away just bits and bobs I mixed it all together mixed the colors mixed the fibers mixed the textures and I just do it just experiment with it it's what it's all about um, don't feel you have to use one one brand only or you can't use one brand with another you absolutely can and uh, you get some really nice textures some really nice shades uh, and I think um, you know textures and shades probably that, that match more real life than just using the one product well thank you guys that's it and um, thanks for watching this video I know it's been a long one but there's been a lot to sort of chat about with this one and I hope you like the way it's coming along and any questions at all let me know and any comments always feel free and the new people who haven't seen uh, my other videos please feel free to subscribe and and uh, and ask away uh, if you have any questions Thanks guys, take care. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers.